You know, I want to talk about what a lot of people think is a problem right now, and it's uh, so-called illegal aliens. And no, I'm not implying that this this guy here is an illegal alien. I just think this is funny. We don't need no budgets. I don't have to show you any stinking budget. But you know, most people don't think it's funny at all, including I would say this guy right here with the flag, the real patriotic-looking guy, and then uh, he's staring down, I guess, the evil Mexican, the illegal alien, and and uh, you know, so you get these groups that claim that oh, we're being flooded with Mexicans, but we're not, we're not, right? It, it, the fact that the Mexican has nothing to do, we're against all illegal immigration, just like with guys like this, you know, from Canada. You know, they they got to be legal too. So you've got two sides of the fence. You've got one side that wants fences and no illegal immigration and then you got the other side where they uh, you know they, they oppose all that and they're looking at guys like this and his cohorts and his henchmen to do something this is what they have in common they're both looking for this group of people called government particularly uh, congress and uh, the federal government they're looking to them to do something about it. Some want amnesty laws passed so that the people that are here illegally can have amnesty. And then the other side was, no, we want a huge fence. Just build a 700 or was it a 1,200 mile fence, 30, 40, 50 feet high, whatnot. Please, uh, government, save us, save us, save us. You know, guys like this, save us. I am the god of hellfire. Hello. Do you really want to look to someone like this to help you? Would it really be considered help? Hmm. Uh, you're calling you know, it's hard to believe that someone like Dr. Ron Paul would take the positions on so-called illegal immigration that he does uh, when you consider that he's very familiar with the writings of Lysanna Spooner. Uh, no treason, the Constitution of No Authority in particular. What you got to keep in mind, though, is that, like it or not, Dr. Ron Paul is a politician. Uh, he's been a politician for the, at least the last 20 years and wants to be the top politician uh, by running for president. So you, that has to be kept in mind. Now, the whole aim of politics is to keep your attention diverted away from what's really happening, what the real problems are. Because I don't necessarily think that this so-called illegal immigration is, is the problem. I think that's the diversion. So you got to keep in mind that politicians, that's really like another word for magician, like this. So think of, think of pol politicians as goofy magicians, using sleight of hand, always diverting your attention from what's really going on like you see here. Our attention should not be focused on the so-called illegal aliens. Our attention needs to be focused on the concept of government, or rather people acting as government. I don't mean any particular individuals, but the concept itself. And that's what the whole of politics does. It diverts our attention from what is really happening. We're going to examine that right now. Well, according to the politicians themselves on the United States Census for 2002, there are actually 87,900 governments, which of course includes one federal government, 50 state governments, and quite a few, <laughs> about 87,850 county and local governments. The federal government currently is supposed to employ around 3.3 million, although I think that's probably a lot higher. Uh, as far as the state politicians, rough estimate, including the federal politicians, there's over 15.3 million politicians and bureaucrats out there. That's an awful lot of bureaucrats. And since these guys are from California, I thought it was appropriate to quote a California case about them. Now what that means is that the governments are not here to protect you. So regardless of what you were taught in school or in church, government is not there to protect you. These guys are not here to protect you. What they're there to do is to protect politicians from college students. So let's compare illegal aliens with governments and see who the real problem is. How do governments get all the money that they use not to protect us? Oh, that's right, they steal it euphemistically called taxation. See, it's not illegal aliens that are stealing 50% or more of your salary uh, before you even get to see it. No, that's government. See, and not only does government steal trillions and trillions of dollars every year, but they brag about losing it. According to some estimates, we cannot track $2.3 trillion in transactions. Wasn't illegal aliens who lied about weapons of mass destruction. We cannot wait for the final proof, the smoking gun, that could come in the form of a mushroom cloud. And then joked around about it. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, that's hilarious. Some of us don't find it so funny. 
Well, let's consider this. No amount of illegal aliens has ever sent your sons and daughters to die in an overseas war. See, only government is able to do that. 73,000 American lives in the war in Iraq, and that's just what they're telling us, which they've lied for years before that. Yeah, I guess it was illegal aliens who drafted your sons to go fight in Vietnam. Oh, wait a minute. No, that wasn't. That was government again. Uh, yeah, that's right. It was government again. It's the only government has the uh, ability to draft your sons and daughters to go fight their wars. Isn't that great? And don't think it's not coming Would back. Would you favor, still seriously favor, uh, a draft in this country? You bet your life at underscore serious. What about 9-11? Were illegal aliens responsible for a lot, not only knowing about 9-11, but allowing it to happen? Were illegal aliens responsible for having NORAD stand down for at least 39 minutes? Was it illegal aliens that resisted an investigation into how, you know, who did 9-11? No, no, and no. It was all government. Government stood by and allowed 3,000 people to die. Wait, so hold on just a moment. We've got an explosion inside. And, that... and who was it that attacked the church and tortured them for months, cutting the power? And then drove tanks up there. When's the last time you had a Mexican drive a tank onto your front lawn and then kill everyone in there on national television? No, again, that was government. And I guess it's illegal aliens that are listening in and recording everyone's cell phone conversations, even when the cell phone is turned off. The Federal Bureau of Investigation can now hear everything you say, even when the cell phone is turned off. I know it sounds kind of out there, but using your phone's tracking device, authorities can now activate the microphone inside the dreaded thing, allowing them to eavesdrop on you and your conversations. Experts say the only way around it is to take the battery out of the thing. Oh, but uh, spying on Americans is perfectly legal. Oh, that's why they want retroactive immunity for everyone, isn't it? Are, is retroactive immunity for telecommunications carriers. Uh-oh. Again, there's no basis for this grant of immunity. And now for something truly horrific. Are illegal aliens conducting chemical and biological warfare experiments on us without our knowledge and consent? No, that again is government. And lest anybody forgets, chemical and biological agents are weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, you can hear it now. Oh, but Mark, that isn't that extreme. They wouldn't have used weapons of mass destruction on, on United States populations. Yes, it's in the statute, but that, that they didn't really do that. Thousands of government-sponsored experiments did take place at hospitals, universities, and military bases around our nation. Some were unethical, not only by today's standards, but by the standards of the time in which they were conducted. They failed both the test of our national values and the test of humanity. I am the god of hellfire! Whoa, yeah, and that's right. See, the same people who brought you MK Ultra also brought you torture by proxy. That's right, now, secret CIA prisons. Just to bring you now this news just in, it's a new report saying that the American CIA did run secret prisons in Poland and Romania from 2003 to 2005. It's a report by the European investigator Dick Marty, which says that they were established to interrogate high-level detainees in the war on terror. Oh, maybe it's illegal aliens that forbid us from getting married and make it a crime to do so without getting their permission. Oh, no, that's the government again. Well, certainly it's the illegal aliens that are forcing us to get permission in order to work and support our families. No, it's not the illegal aliens that are taking the money directly out of your salary before you even get to see it. No, that's the government again. Yes, indeed, Charles Ponzi himself would be very proud of the Social Security Administration and the Ponzi scheme that they've put over on everybody. You see, there never was a trust fund and there never will be. So don't fall for the magician's trick and focus your attention on this guy. Remember, he's not the one who's using weapons of mass destruction on Americans. He's not the one sending Americans to their deaths. Well, of course, the ones using weapons of mass destruction on Americans and making us pay for it are these guys. And these guys certainly could not get away with what they're doing or divert your attention as well as they do without the help of their cheerleaders. Guys like this. So the next time someone's going on about illegal aliens... Remind them of this.